What is up everybody, Zach here, welcome back to Case Digital. In this video, we're gonna talk about and answer the question, how to remove characters from a string in Python. So, without further ado, let's hop right in, start coding. What is up everybody? So, like I mentioned, this video is tackling the question of how can I remove characters from a string in Python. And so this is going to be our original string that we start out with. Um, hello, underscore, or hello, comma, space, tilde, YouTube. And one thing that's key to note about strings and why this question probably comes up and why you've probably run into this question is the fact that strings are immutable. And I could do a whole other video, and I probably will do a whole other video on mutability and mutable versus immutable. But essentially, what that means is when I create a string, such like original string, I can't just go change a character um, within that string. Like it, they can't change. I have to, if, in essence, I have to create a whole new string. So, for instance, um, if you've used strings, you found like with for loops, for char in orig string print char. You found that it goes through and it'll go through each string, right? And so you know, like this is just going through each string. And so your first probably thought is, well, can I, can I, you know, access this? Can I, if I want to change, say, the tilde, I know that strings like in Python are zero base. So if I go one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I want to remove the seventh thing or change it to something or a string of seven is equal to this. Won't that just work? And then I can do print or in string. And the answer is no. String does not support our item assignment. Like they're immutable. You can't change it once they've been created. But what we can do is essentially create a new uh, string that, we're, that can either replace the variable or can be a whole new variable name. And today I'm going to show you three methods that you can use to essentially remove characters from a string. The first one is going to be the naive method. And what I mean by that is basically, like we just did with the for loop, um, I can say new str is equal to this, and then for char in origin string. And then I can use an if, if the char is equal, is not equal, because we want to remove the tilde. That's the whole goal. Let's just say this video, the whole goal is to remove the tilde. Uh, if it's not equal to the tilde, then new string plus equals char. I could say that, or I could say equals new string plus char. You can do it either way. I'm going with the other way because that's the way I like it. And if I print this out, now if we print this out, we see that the original is this, hello with our tilde, and then it's new is without the tilde. So essentially we removed the character, right? We That was the goal, we removed the character. Um, if I wanted to remove two characters, maybe I want to remove the comma, um, I can essentially do, and if I run this, this should give us the example that we want. Hello, no comma, no tilde, you too. So I could also do this another way, just so that you have an example. There it is. So if they're not equal to that and that, then do this. So those are the different ways that you can do that as far as the naive method goes. Um, and when I say when we say naive, it just means that we're going, we're gonna go through each character of the string through a for loop and essentially say, when you hit the character that I don't want, then just basically skip it and go to the next one. And, you know, that's, that wouldn't be considered the Pythonic way of doing things, but it is a way to do it. And that's why I want to show it. Because sometimes you may actually need this method because maybe the other ones don't work or don't give you exactly what you want. And sometimes you just have to go this naive route to get what you need. So don't forget that. Um, the other method that I want to talk about is a really handy method in strings. It's called replace. And well, essentially, I can do orig string dot replace and I can do what I want to so this is and now I pass in what I want to replace so, so if I say tilde and now what I want to replace it with now if I don't want it there anymore I'm just gonna give it a blank string and if I so the original string let's just get rid of that 
So if I run this, you'll see that it's still, even with I, me doing this, it's still the tilde YouTube. The reason being is because replace doesn't happen, like like when I hit uh, string dot replace, it's not actually gonna replace that thing, it's gonna return a new string. So if I wanted to, I have to go new string is equal to this, and then I can do, and just sh so that we all know that it's working, and there it is. Now what's cool about this is I could also then say dot replace my comma with something else or with with nothing and we get the same result we want. So that's one thing I like with strings. You can kind of like add stuff. So if you, like for instance, if you had an order of things that you wanted to be like things you needed removed for whatever reason, you could say, well, do remove this first, then remove this um, or change it. Because I could also change this to an exclamation point, and you'll see that the tilde will just change to an exclamation point. So that's the thing that's nice about the replace is I can either add something there or I can just do an empty string and it'll just make it it'll just basically remove it. That's method number two. We'll comment that out, and then now we'll move on to the third and the final method. And this is going to be slice. Now, um, slice you may not use as much. Um, and I just threw this in here because this is a way about going about doing it. The only problem, the only thing that is hard about it is sometimes you have to know the indexes in which something is at. You'll probably most likely always use replace. This is the most way, most often way that I do it is I actually just use the replace function. But slice is a way of going about creating a new string because new str is equal to, I can do org string. Now, we can't assign something when we use the brackets to original. Remember we got that error when we did like seven. But what I can do is I can say go from the beginning. So if I don't put anything here, that says basically go from the beginning and I do if I do this, this just means the whole string. If I go from colon to seven, this means go all the way to seven from the beginning to the index seven and then I'm gonna say plus, and then just so that you know where we are, where we're inserting or where we're going to be removing, I'll put a uh, I'll put two exclamation points plus orig string. Now I can go from seven to seven colon to the end. And now what you're gonna see is essentially we went to, all the way to index seven, but that's interesting. It didn't add it starting it's after seven or whatnot. This basically says go from the beginning all the way to index seven, but don't include index seven. Just go to that one. So essentially from right after index six. So if we count this, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're going to, this basically says start inserting at index seven. And then what we do here is we say from the original string, now include index seven from index seven, go all the way till the end. So if we want to remove something, what we do, is essentially we just say go from index seven and if I want to remove the tilde we know that it says index seven I'm just going to go to eight and now you see that it's removed by doing it this way this says that this is the index in which we're going to remove now if I wanted to remove two it gets a little tricky because then and this is why I prefer the replace method is you have to start dealing with indexes and I could do so say I want to remove um, the comma, we know that it's zero base, so again, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So I could do this whole thing again. So I go to five and go to six to seven, and then go from eight to the end. And let's see how we did. Boom, we, we nailed it, we removed it. So that's why it's a little tricky is you have to deal with the index counting and where things are uh, in the sense that we said we wanna skip this one. Now we wanna skip this one. So as you can see, we skipped it by saying we start at six instead of five because this one doesn't include it, but this one does. Or this one, and what I guess what I mean by that is if it's on this side of the colon, it means go to that, but don't include it. If it's on this side, the left side, it means include it. And so we say go to this one, but don't include index five. Now we want to start from index six and go to seven, but don't include index seven. Now we want to start from eight. So we're skipping five and seven, and that gives us hello YouTube without the comma and the tilde. 
So those are three different ways that you can go about removing characters from strings in Python. Um, a little tricky, a little bit different because of the fact that strings are immutable, so you essentially have to create a whole brand new string. Um, what you essentially could do is I could just change this to orange string and I could reassign it. And we'll get an error because that is a new string does now not exist. So if I run this, you can see that just replaced everything. It removed the comma and the tilde. So that is the ways you can go about doing it. If this is providing value to you, please hit the like, hit, a li hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel, hit the no bell notification so you guys get notified when we upload new videos. And thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And I hope that this answered your question and is providing you value. Um, if you have any other questions, go check out this channel where we answer a lot of Python questions that come up and as well as other software development questions. But from now, I hope this answers your question and keep on coding.